Greetings gamers, I have another intriguing video for you today and it's going to tackle the question of should we allow Konar to assign Jad and Zuck tasks? Currently Konar could not assign those tasks and those tasks are only acquired by Neve and Duradel. However, what makes it unfortunate is if you're going for the Brimstone Keys which are required for the Dust Mystic set as per the collection log, you need to do Konar. Now, not being able to get those tasks is not necessarily a big time loss, but it would be cool to be able to get keys from Konar. Now, there are two ways Chagix could implement this, and I am just proposing my opinion here. The first way would be to get a set number of keys at the end of the encounter. So once you finish Jad or Zuck, you get a specific number of keys. Or, which I think would be the better option, is to have keys dropped by all the monsters along the entire encounter. As such, while you're fighting a wave, you can have keys spawn randomly as you kill NPCs. So for example, a melee or a Jad could drop a Brimstone key and then you can go pick it up in the middle of the fight, which would really spice up Corner Slayer and also spice up the Jad and Infernal tasks, adding a bit of fun and RNG involved with getting keys. I do not think this would necessarily become meta-breaking because the number of keys you get would not be anything insane. And I'll go over the math right now just to show you. So the probability to get a, a Brimstone Key differs based on the Monster Slayer level, and there's three potential options. Either the monster is under 100 combat, between 100 and 350, or above 350 combat. And this scaling works as such. Now, of course, if you're under 100 combat, this scaling is really, really bad, and the higher combat you get, the better it becomes, up to a 2% chance, which is a 1 in 50, when you get above 350 monster level. Now, if we go into the specifically for Jad and Zuck, first, what we need to do is we need to figure out how many monsters do we have to kill? So for example, for Jad, these are all the monsters you fight in the encounter. These are all the combat levels. And then these are the probability of getting a key. To calculate how many you've, you've killed during the entire encounter, you need to basically map out all the waves. So these are all the waves for the, the Jad fight. And then if you sum it up together, these are all the monsters you must kill. Now I'm not including the Jad healers here. I don't usually you do not kill those. And if you combine all the probabilities of getting a key with the total number of killed, which also, by the way, includes the blob splitting into two boblets, you get a total of 1.53 brimstone keys expected from a JAD task, which if a JAD task takes you an average under 30 minutes, that's around three keys an hour, which is somewhat reasonable, probably similar to doing some melee tasks with a cannon, but it's not anything comparable to doing barrage slayer on Konar task, sorry. Now for Zuck, this calculation becomes slightly more complicated because there's a lot more NPCs, including the nibblers that spawn on every wave and sometimes have double spawns. So the same calculation is done, except this time we have a nibbler as an additional column. We also have Jads, which you kill. We also have Zuck, and on Zuck, there's a four healers you must kill, and there's also a mage and ranger, assuming you do a one set, which is typically the norm if you're on TAS, uh, unless you're out DPS like crazy. And if you do the same summation here, these are all the monsters you must kill which interestingly enough is 201 nibblers, which I didn't think it would be that many, but it makes sense. And if you do the exact same calculation as for Jad, you expect to get 3.47 brimstone keys for every infernal task. And an infernal task is, let's just say around 65 to 70 minutes if you're somewhat good, and maybe 75 minutes if you're more reclined, which is around three keys an hour, we can assume, or probably even more if you're a, you're Adikon or Rastaman, this numbers are probably not really accurate, but let's just ignore those two extreme cases. <laughs> now you might tell yourself, Lone, why the hell are you doing these calculations? What's the point? Well, I'm trying to propose to Jadix an option to add Jad and, and Infernal Task to Konar. I think it would be really cool, although I will agree it is an agenda because I do need those two pets, including the Jad and the Infernal pet. So it'd be really cool to grind those out while doing Konar without having to do a detour towards Neve Arterial skipping for uh, the Jad task and Infernal task. Uh, I don't think that the key rates per hour are necessarily broken. I think it's very fair, very reasonable. And uh, personally, I think it would be a really good change for Jagus to implement something like this. Uh, another thing I would like them to add is to add Brimstone keys to Superiors, just like how it is in Wildy Slayer for uh, Laren keys. Uh, I don't think it's a huge buff either, it just makes it more convenient and saves a little bit of time, which is something that we all need to save. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed the video, very simple, went over some very simple math, the sheet is going to be in the description if you want to consult it and see how the calcs are done uh, for your own curiosity or learning experience. And uh, besides that, if you enjoyed, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, 
and uh, drop a comment of other ideas I can make videos similar to these because these are really fun to do. Uh, I do like math. I'm a little nerdy, I know, as you most likely know as well. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So peace out. Take care.